You are a king. Renly's been on a bit of a journey. He's gone from courtier to king. Uh, king preparing for war. I swear to you, I will see the Lannisters answer for your husband's murder. When I take King's Landing. He really does believe in himself and the kind of glorious alliance that he's got around him. From Renly's point of view, he is the best man for the job, and that's what should count. I will give you this one night to reconsider. But Stannis is certainly not prepared to kneel and swear fealty to his younger brother. You could make peace with your brother. I won't make peace with Renly when he calls himself king. If the military side of things could halt, he would be a great king. You know I've got the numbers. You know I'm marching on King's Landing. He's got 22 families behind him, and that makes him very, very confident. I have 100,000 men at my command. All the might of the Stormlands and the Reach. He is uh, fording himself as the monarch of a whole realm of kingdoms. And for that to happen, he has to marry Loras' sister, Marjorie. May I present my wife, Marjorie of House Tyrell. She agreed to marry her brother's lover because she sees the bigger picture. Your marriage is quite interesting, not only to me, but to the realm. My husband is my king, and my king is my husband. Marjorie has a genuine faith and belief that an alliance between the Baratheon household and the Tyrrell household is for the better of Westeros. The Tyrrells have a lot of money, and the Baratheon have the name and the, the power. So when you put those two together, they're almost like a, an unbeatable force. We see Marjorie Tyrell's entry into this political world, and she seems very confident within it. She seems very practical about what needs to happen, and that's of use to Renly. I did notice your brother entering his grace's tent just now. The place of a king's guard is by the king's side. She is prepared to do what it takes to make this political marriage work. They make a very interesting trinity. But the love affair is obviously not between Renly and Marjorie. The love affair is Loras and Renly. There's no need for us to play games. Save your lives for court. You're going to need a lot of them. It's important to him that he takes on the responsibility of being a king. He sees it as an opportunity to get the kingdom to where it needs to be. 